Well, I am Steve, Steve Bray from Port Talbot, and I'm often known as Stop Brexit Steve. Not doing well, is it? I've been here at Parliament now, every day they sit in for the last 20 months. Outside Parliament, there's always media, always news teams. They are always there. When I see them, I've got placards. We need to remember where we are at this stage. So regardless of what happens... Uh, to the... But I think this really is turning out to be the last roll of the dice for Theresa May. They're looking towards some pretty... I've been escorted off the green by the police well over 200 times. Sometimes 10 times in a day. I've lost count. It was getting harder and harder to get onto the green. So my view was, if you can't be seen, you got to be heard. Last time MPs voted on this. Someone's being a bit noisy, aren't they, in the background? That's why I have this. Stop Brexit! Brexit has divided politicians, it's divided the parties, neighbours, friends, family. There is not one part of this nation that has not been divided. I've got a grandson, I've got a daughter, and I believe they should have the same rights and future that I had. We can stop Brexit. We do not have to accept this. Brexit has created a lot of hatred. So I've got people coming up to me calling me a traitor, scum, fascist, even fascist. Where does that come from? And they hate me based on what I believe in and what I voted. But what I've noticed over the months is the huge decline in abuse and the even bigger amount of support that is coming in. It is absolutely fantastic. People have woken up to the fact that Brexit was never the answer to Britain's problems. Stop Brexit! We stay as close to Westminster as we can so we can protest get there early, set up. This flat here is funded through Crowdfunder. Because it's so expensive, we're only here a few days a week. Um, we've raised money from within the Remain movement. The support we have from within Remain has helped carry us through. So many people said, oh, you know, I woke up, I was feeling down. And I saw you there with the placards, and uh, it made my day. So many people have said, you've given us hope. And the way tourists from Brazil, South Africa, Australia, they all, cut, they all want a picture with me, and I make sure I've got the placards. A lot of people have come to me and say, are oh, you hero, you're this, you're that. And no, I'm the messenger. A hero runs into a burning building. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> The, the one thing I can say positive about Brexit is the friends I've made, the people I've met, and my restoration in, the, in my faith in humanity. It has changed my life. I don't feel like a celebrity. I'm, I really am the messenger, and that's what it's about.